Hi, my name is Mario Franco, and this webcast will be about distance learning. Distance learning or distance education is the education of students who may not always be physical present at the school. And in today's reality, this will be empowered by technology. Not always distance learning or distance education use technology. We have a long history of distance education, distance learning, but today this has a different context related to technology. This webcast will take care of this and how we can develop uh, what is the frameworks to develop education, distance education, distance learning. We will start by analyzing frameworks related to the distance learning implementation. The first one we choose was the UNESCO 10 recommendations to plan distance learning solutions. We will produce a series of webcasts where we analyze each of the 10 recommendations. This will be the first, but uh, another uh, webcasts will be uh, produced and in detail we will see each of the recommendations and how to use these recommendations to implement policies and programs related to distance learning or distance education. We go to start now to look at the, the first recommendation of UNESCO 10 recommendations to plan distance learning solutions. And the first one is to examine the readiness and choose the most relevant tools. In this moment, it's important to review some of the aspects related to the policies, to the programs and the different initiatives and actions the government have to implement distance learning using technology. There are many questions, legal questions, questions related to the organization and questions related to the tools available and the context. We know there are different contexts. There are people with access to internet and to computer devices. There are people, families we don't have the, this possibility uh, or even to pay affordable internet. Then there are people with special needs. There are families which can support their kids or their uh, students and there are families who cannot then it's very important to analyze what kind of tools what kind of legal framework what kind of financial support and what kind of conditions we can do the second aspect I consider very very important in this is we cannot find a solution for two weeks it doesn't work we know that we need solutions we can use now but with the capacity to look to the future we don't know how many time this will be absolutely required but even after that we need to know and we need to use these tools in the long term otherwise we create a big big confusion in the system then it's up to now to the governments to look the, the possibilities the contexts and analyze and create the best conditions to do the best job now, but also to plan for what is coming and for the future in order to improve the quality of education. Under this uh, recommendation, there are a few things to, to analyze and to evaluate. First is deciding on high technology and low technology solutions. There are answers for both. Maybe we need both in any, any project. This is a wide uh, project always, uh, considering the, the present situation. The second thing is the real, reliability of power supplies. We know in many places the, 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 the power supply is difficult. 
to find or is very costly we need to look to the costs of the power supplies and also the the capacity to handle this kind of of approach the second is the internet connectivity the cost also is a problem and also not only a cost but also the 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 bandwidth in the 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 availability is uh, in some areas very difficult to have a good experience in internet then we need actions immediately to solve this kind of situation we need to look now to the second part of this recommendation the integration of different platforms and special the integration with video lessons available in main platforms or even the integration with other uh, tools uh, some cultural program using tv radio then the integration of all of these solutions in one single system it is very important special to assure the better uh, inclusion of different groups but also uh, to allow people who have not the same access to digital tools to follow the process and to develop programs to provide them with the technologies. And the governments must consider immediately to provide internet connection, computer devices or tablets for every student and every teacher. There is no way back in this moment then we need to do it and we need to do it now this webcast is part of the sustainable etdu policy framework accelerator workshop and this webcast or this group of webcasts related to distance learning and education can uh, be used um, as a single model or you can choose to go to all the um, the workshop and because some of the other webcasts in other sections uh, will be related to the implementation or uh, have subjects related to this webcast then this webcast is not uh, alone but you can go and see more and more information in the other in the other parts of, of this workshop the workshop itself is part of the sustainable attitude policy framework architecture which is a framework of frameworks to train and planning and implement ICT education projects in a sustainable way then uh, please feel free to go to the website and to uh, look at the different parts different sections where i uh, deliver a lot of uh, videos and also documents and links to implement this kind of projects thank you